previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but... We're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. See? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ah! Petra, where are you going? May not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than than fire world. And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... another psycho pumpkin mansion. Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa! I know what I'm doing. This is for everyone's own good. If you really knew what was for our own good, we'd be back home by now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? No way, I meant exactly what I said. Yeah? Well, so did I. Forget this. I am out of here! Well... 
That could have gone better. Hey, that was on her, not me. She flew off the handle, got all hot-headed. She's tired, Jesse. We all are. And, well, you could have been a bit more sensitive. But we can't just let her walk away, right? No. No, we can't. Come on, guys, let's go find her. Any of you guys see Petra? Not yet. She can't have gotten too far, though. Hang on. I'm gonna write down our entry point. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. So, what's next on the agenda, anyway? I mean, it's a pretty cool new place. Who knows what could be around the next corner? First things first, we find Petra. Can't have her running around on her own. Yeah. I'm amazed at how fast she went wherever she went. <sighs> I hope she's okay. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. Well, if I were Petra here on my own and saw a road, I'd probably follow it. I mean... That makes sense, right? Yes. Though she can be impulsive and fly off the handle, Petra's survival instincts are very sharp. Lucas has a good point. I bet if we follow the road, we'll find her. Sand, clay, and more sand. Is that... Petra! Oh, it's Petra. Petra? Shh! Get down! I told you not to follow me. Too bad. Friend code. No abandonment. <sighs> what are you looking at, anyway? Look. Whoa. Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on. Worse than Fireworld or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? <laughs> yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie. I could actually use a hand. This doesn't make any sense! Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that... That doesn't seem right. Oof. Oof, that was not the plan. I should hope not was just one zombie. What was the problem? Nuh-uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't know, Petra. Maybe you've just lost a step. Do I seem any weaker to you? Uh, no. I just can't figure out how that zombie was so strong. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Did we do that? With what? the power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. 
Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's in my head! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Lucas. These mobs might not be intentionally leading us anywhere. So if we're going to follow them, we should be very, very careful. I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. Is it everything you'd hope for, Petra? Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah, I, I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. I want to do it. Oh, well, if you insist. No! It shocked me! Are you okay? Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? That depends. Are you going to apologize? Of course I'm going to apologize right now, because I'm really sorry about that. The way I acted wasn't cool, and, well, you, you deserve better than that. Ah, uh, see? Even when you drive me nuts, this is why I can't stay mad at you. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Now can we be friends again? <laughs> We're never not friends, dummy. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. Hi there. 
Uh, hello? My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close. We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. We need to leave now. What? But why? No, I'm afraid I must agree with Jesse. There's something wrong here, and I'd like to find our exit portal as soon as possible. Uh. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. <laughs> yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you? Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Come on, then. Out with it. Who's Pama? Ha! Huh. Like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait, you're serious? You don't know? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? Easy. We just ended up here by mistake. Mistake? Oh boy, this is the biggest mistake of your life. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right, right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. Yeah, I met someone. Not, not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, no, no. Please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside, but please. They're my friends, and they are people. Please don't forget that. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Just act like they do. Blend uh, in. How? Try to look vacant. It's not working. Uh, make the sound they make. You are not from this place. Hey, weirdos, back off. You will not command Pama. That is silly. Yeah. I don't think they like that. A decision has been made. <clears throat> Hama has questions. Ah. You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to keep resisting them? Because I don't think they like that. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody too badly. Ouch! Watch it! You will be made useful! What... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! What is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Yeah, I'm guessing no on the friendly thing. Whatever it is, I think it's behind all this. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us. But maybe it can even be... Fun. 
if you choose to cooperate, that is. So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. Thrilled, even. Oh, let's not talk about me. I'd rather hear about you. How did you get here? Answering a question with a question is unhelpful. Diversionary. Rude. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. Mama, hang on. Let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one? Or completely different? Our world is awful. Like, really awful. You'd hate it there. Your answer obsess me. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. I'll never help you. Not with the portals and not with anything else. We couldn't help even if we wanted to. Honest! You will regret your decision. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! Dire, don't you think? Sorry, Palma, but this brain is off limits, especially to evil thinking machines like you. That goes for my brain, too. Oh, <gasps> it is like you told Petra. This is for your own good. Welcome, Lucas. Yay, your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. 
Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Olivia loves these things she calls logic puzzles, word problems and stuff. Really complicated. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy, busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me suspicious. Hey, Palma, what I'm saying is a lie. But if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying, which means that you are being truthful. It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, It worked! Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. I'm a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status. On hold. Gasp. My creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two. This way. I'm sensing some history here. Wait, did Pama just say she created it? It does sound unbelievable, but I'm certainly interested in learning more. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! So disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! Oh, a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You watch that sass now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. You made that, that Palma thing. Yeah, okay, yes. I was the one who built Palma. But I swear this wasn't its purpose. It's out of control. And, and I need your help. What kind of help? I need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What?
She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be coming back. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. water we can aim for that looks like I'm showing everything it's got at us one after the other! Such wastefulness! You think that since Palm is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter, but they're just splatting straight to their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself! Looks like something happened to it. It's eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Which might mean... Hey, hey, Ivor, dare you to poke it. Uh, no thank you. Even though it does look completely shut down. Oh. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. Just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. I didn't actually know you cared so much. You really want to help Petra and Lucas, huh? I still have a few surprises up my sleeve. I must say, that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I am still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'll be honest with you, Ivor. I don't know if I really trust her that much. We don't even know her. Well, all I'm saying is that I certainly wouldn't mind getting to know her better. <clears throat> trust me or not, seems like I helped you two out of quite the scrape back there. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Lawn guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. 
bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, baby. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just, I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. You did what now? I destroyed it. Not because I wanted to, but because it was the only way to keep the other world safe. Looks like we're not getting home anytime soon. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Baron, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Pama decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead. Figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. So what you're telling me is that your brain is super dangerous and can't go anywhere near Palma. How are you supposed to help us with any of this? I do think I can help you. With, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're gonna need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, Grand Harper. I'm happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no. I still need to activate the other cauldrons. Hold to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. I don't want to fight you. What you want doesn't interest Mama. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it! There! Uh, Lucas, let's try 
try and fuck this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last call for Well, then do it quick! There! Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, pretty awful, but I'll get over it. Thanks for asking. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. It does look like she's lost her way a bit. And found it again, leading right to Crazy Town. Watch your tone. She is a genius and should be treated as such. Although even I have to admit this is a bit much. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Here you go, Harry. Nice, looks like I'm on the right track. They look so happy. Prototype, autonomous, management, agent, Ah, so that's what Palma means. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence, or 
<laughs> wow. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still going to save Lucas. Don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. These might come in handy. Awesome. Stone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Headset. Do we even know what this is supposed to do? I know you feel pretty confident that Harper's one of the good guys now, but... Anything that looks this cool is worth the risk. Took the words right out of my mouth. Here we go. Whoa. to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this, this is just remarkable. I thought you were supposed to be the genius, Ivor, but if I had to guess, it's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. It really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! 
enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Get out of my head, Pama! Oh, Jesse. This could all be so much easier. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy moms, right? Let my go! My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. <laughs> A skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Pama's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re initiated. Trace subroutine re initiated. Everybody, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper. Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Palma. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Not useful, my butt! Oh no. Time to move. Fear, Jesse's here, and I'm gonna rescue you. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Running. Quick, follow me! That's what I said! Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide-and-seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. 
And I am too strong. There. That door leads to Mama Central Core. Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that 10 set useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Remember who we are. The Order of the Stone. We defeated a Witherstorm, saved Sky City, and survived Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa. That just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before? There are three of them. Redstone spires. And, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Pama stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. Where is the entrance to this Palma core, anyway? The other side of all these moms. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. Redstone dust always comes in handy. I can use this button to activate the redstone dust, but what can I connect it to? TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities... Are endless. I'm gonna go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. Huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff.
because this won't work. My forces will protect the exit portal. Oh no. My friends have almost finished building our new exit portal. And then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You cannot defeat me. Your defiance is not useful. How's that for clearing a path, huh? It's very nice, Jesse. Uh, low key. Hey, Jesse. Nice work. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palma before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Uh-oh. Ivor, Petra, give me your buckets. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them off. We'll finish this and save Lucas. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. Out of simple curiosity, how exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Now that you understand your mission is a futile one. That's for me to know and me to find out. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I am sure your plan is futile. We'll see about that. I don't have time for this. Out of my way! Confident about yourself now, are you, Palma? Your defeat remains 
I only had a piece of iron for every time I've heard that before. You will relinquish your water. Harper! Your attempts to defeat me have been impressive, Jesse. Your tenacity and spirit will help to improve me once you have been made useful. Yeah. I can't use my last water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. This is getting sad. The odds of you successfully defeating me are 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. Don't worry, Harper. Mama is nearly finished. Good. Jesse, behind you! Out, team. Detected. Reservation. Protocol initiated. What's happening? You shorted out the processing tower. Mama was drawing the redstone heart to save itself. Get to the redstone heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. Got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend is tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to meet your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made. Useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me. You'll never make me useful, Pom. I can promise you that. You are fighting me with bad jokes. Well, not intentionally. Okay, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. You cannot win. Honestly, think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this.
Here, let me help you. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh! Ugh. Ugh. You did it, Jesse! It's over. Oh no. Lucas! Is he? When you removed out the redstone heart, it must have severed their connection. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Uh, I'm not dead. Unless you count dead tired. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. Hey, apologies not necessary, okay? That was Pama, not you. Sorry about knocking you around, though. I don't know. I kind of remember it the other way around, actually. Bygones, right? It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous, too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. I'd imagine Harper is better suited to answer that question. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. one who saved us who are you you fought so bravely well I'm Jesse and we're the order of the stone boom we walk the worlds seeking adventure and doing good deeds Wow well thank you we owe you everything you're right Jesse and the order really are heroes we couldn't have done any of this without them Harper is that you um yes Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did. Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand. Harper built Palma with good intentions. What happened here is Palma's fault. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home. Again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, uh, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. See you 
know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Hey, this hallway might be creepy, but at least there aren't any killer computers trying to chip us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just glad we're going home. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. So wait, you can't get us home? Okay. Okay, no. I might not be able to get you home, but I do know where to get the atlas. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny, whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. Whoa. The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure?